yeah, that's a cool tone. I'm ready to record. Let me get my IRs ready. Oh, there's a million IRs. There's just so many to choose from. I mean, how am I going to pick? Yeah. What would Pete do? Pete, what should I do? Use the plugin. Huh? Use the plugin. Oh. I know what he means. Let me show you. Right here is my raw guitar track. It's the Metro D plugged into a 100 watt dirty Shirley through the uh, Fry at Power Station. And now it's just that raw captured. guitar sound, which is uh, pretty cool and raspy, but it needs a cap. Yeah, obviously, needs a cap. So, I could go through all of my IRs, or I could go to the Universal Audio, the Sir PT100, the Pete Thorne 100 amp. So now, what I have so far is two amps going. Which is just a sludgy mess. So what you want to do is come over here to the effects rack zone, which opens up all of these hidden parameters. Let's go over here and turn off the preamp section, which is the amp. Now you don't have a doubled up distorted guitar signal. That sounds like this. So right out the gate, that's great. And I'll give you a little uh, pro tip here. Almost every preset number one is kind of like the best preset that you're gonna get because manufacturers aren't stupid. They're gonna put their best foot forward. This is no exception here. Uh, right out of the gate, the first one, it's a Sur 212. It sounds really good. It's balanced, it's full. Now, if you want, there's a noise gate, that's cool. Uh, you could turn it off. And then they have these great EQs, which end up um, tightening up the bottom or smoothing out the top. They're basically just like filters that'll come down on the, the sound. So let's say if, if uh, you could do cool effects with it too. If you really take that bottom end tight filter way up high, it'll have a cool filtered sound. Uh, and then this is where all of the other cabinet IRs are located. And But now you're getting back into the I have a thousand cab IRs game. Uh, just go for the first one. It sounds great. Trust me there. So this process will work with any of the Brainworks developed UA plugins. Uh, for instance, you could do the same process with the Friedman BE100 plug-in, dig through there, find your, your favorite one. If you don't have a UA DSP card, you could do it with other plugins if they allow you to turn off the amp section, only use the cab section. Um, not all plugins are created equal, so I haven't had a ton of great success there, but the Brainworks stuff works really well. So that's it. That's the secret Pete Thorne IR trick. Thanks to Pete for letting me name drop and for the tip. Uh, and if you're here, I'm sure you know all about his channel, uh, but go check out his albums. You'll be a better person for listening to it, because they're awesome. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See ya.